Every day, while we're working with our postmen at one end of the floor, we work with our perimeter players at the other end. And really, there's only three things a player can do when he doesn't have the ball. He can scream and he can cut. And those are the only two things he can do. If he stands, he isn't going to help his team. So he can screen and cut. Good players learn how to use screens. They learn how to become great cutters. Here we have our point guard coming down, and he's going to hit the right wing, set a great screen for the off wing, who will rip off that screen and be able to get a jump shot. Here we go. Hit, good screen away. Rip off the screen. The screener has thrown one way and screened away a couple of times. Now he's set his defender up. So he'll throw away, he'll start the screen, but do what Johnny Havlicek used to call throw the change. He'll then cut hard to the bucket and get a pass. He fakes the screen and he throws the change. And that's playing without the ball. Good players learn how to play without the ball. There's only one ball, there's five players on offense. The other four better know how to be good screeners, good cutters, and become good receivers. Screeners become great receivers. Sometimes the one man may come down, and because the two man is overplayed, he'll step out, he'll run a hard back door because he's being overplayed. And again, that's playing without the ball. Every day we work on these particular drills. So now we work, don't look at screening away, throwing a change, running the back door cut. Now let's put the three defenders out there and see what it looks like with a, def a defender on them. Cut hard all the way to this side of the floor. Now something you have to work on is to make them slice all the way off that screen so they almost end up on this side of the floor. One more time. All right, baby, good job, all right? Now, Again, we have the case this time because the two man is being so totally overplayed. As we drive at him, we have to send him back door. Learning to cut, play without the ball. This time, we've already set the one man up for throwing a change. So we make the pass, we start the screen, and then we make the cut to the bucket. You may front cut him, you may back cut him. This time, let's have Shaka, you go real hard in front of him so he can cut on the other side. Here we go. But she'll try to beat him to the screen. That's it, then get a front cut. Now, what a lot of teams will do is they'll switch that screen away. And if the, if the offense doesn't do the right thing, nobody opens up. Watch this not work because when we screen away, we switch, and we both got our men covered. Looking for them to get open, switch, oh, now they're both covered, nothing there. We need to split the switch out there, just how we split the switch in there. This time, watch number one closely, there'll be a switch, and he will get number three on his back, so he can get his cut to the basket. Here we go. Real good screen, seals. And it's basketball at its best. I tell my players this all the time. You want to be a great receiver? Screen. The defenders have a tendency to ignore screeners. The screener makes you a great rebounder. Watch what will happen this time. We screen. Maybe we don't make the jump shot, but watch number one become a great offensive rebounder because he set a screen. Let him set a good screen on three. Get three on your back. There you go, already right, got one, good. So if you become a good screener, you can be a real good offensive rebounder. So every day for 10 minutes, we'll work with our postmen at one end, we'll work with our perimeter players at the other end, and it will make your offense go a lot better no matter which one you